Carolyn Brigantia, Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to Journey Through the Tarot. Today we are looking at the Nine of Pentacles from the Housewife's Tarot by Paul Kebbell and Jude Buffum. So first impressions, let's look at the card. We see that the housewife has become one with the dishwasher and she is proudly showing off the results of her work. Because not only are the dishes absolutely spick and span, but observe that the appliance itself is absolutely sparkling. Clearly this housewife takes great pride in her work, deservedly so, and absolutely revels in getting the results that she set out to achieve. So with this in mind, let's see what our booklet has to say. It gives us the key words of independence, confidence, and clarity. The description goes on to say, like an automatic dishwasher, you are completely self-sufficient and without the need of a helping hand. The Nine of Pentacles represents an independent woman who knows how to get the job done with ease and grace. She's gone through all the necessary cycles and now her future is sparklingly clear. So when this card comes up in a reading, let's consider three different scenarios to keep in mind as we're interpreting. First one is that it is within our Aquarian's power to achieve their goals. They don't need to wait on someone else in order to make progress. In fact, it would be better for them not to, because this is a moment for them to uh, seize their autonomy, roll up their sleeves, and get something accomplished. A second scenario to think about is that the querent is riding high. They are not hampered by any self-doubt. And then if you're getting the, this, the idea that this is representing of all of their confidence, look at the surrounding cards for clues about where this confidence and this energy can be directed for best effect because their road is not blocked. So the querent should make the most of it. Goodness knows doubts return soon enough in life. So if that is the situation, definitely encourage them to make the most of it. And the third scenario really to keep in mind is that the querent is in a state where their vision is not obscured. They And they should not be looking for distractions or complications in order to cloud that vision. They know what needs to be done and likely how it can be best accomplished. So rather than self-create problems, it's time for the querent to move forward and to trust that they are seeing what is there and to proceed accordingly. So a nice little card there at the Nine of Pentacles. Next week, of course, we will be looking at the Ten of Pentacles. And then in January, we will be finishing up the suit, which means we will be finished with the deck. So uh, it's been an interesting journey so far, and uh, we are so close to the end of it. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, if you have comments, questions, concerns, different experiences, a different uh, interpretation of the Nine of Pentacles, please tell me all about it in the comments section below, or come visit me on our gilded server called Blackbird's Brew. There's a link to join us in the description box below, and you would be very welcome there. But that will do it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.